All right, so we have some new features with One UI 7.0 beta number three. We even have our ruler back in the edge panels. So let's dive in and see everything that is in fact new. Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are gonna be talking about One UI 7 beta number three, which just got released. So here's my S24 Ultra with One UI beta two. If I go to my settings right over here and go all the way down and go to software update, you can see that the One UI beta number three is now ready. Now if I go down, you can see this is a significantly large update. It is over one gigabytes. It does have the latest security patch and is ending in ZXLJ. And if I go up here, we even have some new features we're gonna talk about and also a lot of bug fixes, all right? So we do have a lot of bug fixes and a couple of new features, especially to the quick panel. So let me install this. We're gonna be right back and see exactly what is new. Guys, before we dive in, something amazing just happened. Samsung has officially announced that the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is going to be released on January 22nd. For this reason, they're doing something incredible for you. They are allowing you to reserve the S25, and just for doing so, you will be entered to win a mind-boggling $5,000 giveaway, plus get $50 free Samsung credits and up to $1,250 in savings. All you have to do is give your name and email. All this is free, and this is a no-commitment offer. So there's no obligation to buy anything. So there's gonna be an exclusive link down below Click to reveal this mind-blowing offer. Now, when you click the link, you are gonna be at this website. Here's all the bonuses, including the chance to win $5,000 in Samsung credit. So all you do when you're here is scroll down. By the way, if you wanna watch the trailers, you can do so. They have two trailers for you guys. Again, link below. So come over here, put your name, last name, email, if you want your mobile number and select this box to confirm that you want to enter the $5,000 giveaway and then answer these two questions, which I just did, and click on reserve now. And guys, you're going to be good to go. You're locked in. There is no obligation. And that's it. Again, links are below. Let's move on to beta number three. All right, so the software update is not complete. If I pull this down, you can see it says your phone has been updated, so we have One UI beta number three. Let's quickly look at what is actually new uh, from the change log. So if I go to my settings, and if I go to my software update, last update, let's look at this. Add the option to switch left and right to open the quick panel. All right, so right now, the way my panel is set up is if I pull down anywhere on this side right here, it brings up the notifications panels, if I go to the top corner and pull it down, it brings up the quick toggles and the control center. So with the update, when I tap on edit, and if I go to panel settings, and if I go down here, you'll see a new option known as quick panel on the left side. Now, if I enable this, my ability to uh, pull down the quick panel, this panel right here shifts from right to left. So look at this, pull down, it is now here, okay? And when I pull down from here, it just brings up my other notifications. So that's a new option that we have. I'm gonna go back to the right side because that's what I'm used to for now. And let's look at number two. Number two says that we have more four by one widgets. It says add four by one widget, okay? That is not very specific. Let me show you what's going on here. So if I pinch the screen and go to my widgets, and if I go to the battery widget as an example right over here, you can see we now have a four by one option, okay? Now to be clear, four by one was around in other widgets previously, but for some reason it disappeared in the calendar right here, all right? I don't see it right over here. Let's see if I grab this and dump it on the screen, can I extend it to be four by one? No, I can't, okay? So it's not a perfect update, but what they did was they actually added a few additional four by one widgets to the battery in this example. We did not have this here before. We only had this, this, and this, and this was not expandable to four by one. Now I can grab this and just dump it on the screen and have a four by one. So I'm sure that they're gonna fix that for every single widget. So that's great, that's another change. Now the other thing that is pretty important is if I pinch the screen and if I go to my settings, you are gonna see that we have a new layout. 
we have this brand new option on the top, these three options. Now these three options previously were under a different menu. Let me show you what that looked like. This is the One UI Beta 2, and we had the app and widget style right here. When I clicked it, it gave me these options that are now in the forefront. So I do believe this looks better because you get some graphics and you get a quick access to these important settings right over here. Now one more update came to the edge panel. Okay, so settings, go down to display and then go over to the edge panels right over here. When I go to my panels, this option right here, the tools option, which I like a lot, was missing, all right? Now it is back and I can use it in my edge panels. It is right here. We've got the compass and we've got the weather and location settings, all righty? And I can even tap over here and I can switch between the tally counter, the flashlight, the surface level, and the ruler, okay? In case you guys didn't know, here's a hidden feature for you. So tools are back and that is great because they are very important. It's a reason it's called tools is plural you have five tools in there another change to a popular feature is if i go to my settings and if i scroll down go to the uh, lock screen and aod we have the now bar it has been redesigned okay we have this information here now we have the live notifications right here it says live notifications and when i tap on view more it is now limited to three previously it was more they removed some of them that are not working properly but I'm sure they'll add it back, okay? So that's the live notifications. They're trying to clean this up so it looks more sensible, more logical. This is what the now bar looks previously with One UI Beta 2, okay? You can see it says music, modes, and routines. It does not say anything right over here. But now we have this information. It says live notifications, and we have changes to these two. The now bar itself works perfectly fine. So let's uh, do a quick run example on that. All right, uh, let's start a timer. Let's go back out. It's right there. So if I tap on it, expands, okay? It does feel a little bit more snappy than before, which is a good thing, all right? Uh, let's turn that off. And here we have it, perfect, all right? So it works. Just as well as before, it feels a little bit more snappy, which is fantastic. One more thing that we have is we have faster fingerprint login speed. So let's try that out, okay? So right now, I am on my AOD display. I'm gonna double tap. I wanna look at one more thing. So look at this battery icon on the top. Previously, it was a little bit more awkward. Now it is a little bit more smooth, the way it shifts back and forth. Here's the battery pill, if I tap it it shifts over a little bit more smooth. Now let's check the fingerprint speed from the always on display. All right, let's see. Now let's test it from the lock screen. All right, so from the lock screen, it is faster. From the AOD, it is just like before. Okay, so let's go to lock screen. Yes, much faster. Well, not much faster, but definitely faster. But if you're in AOD, it doesn't feel as fast, all right? So let's see from the lock screen, super fast, fantastic. Now those are some of the visible changes. Let's go back over here to settings and go to the software update and tap on the last update. You can see there's also bug fixes. So improve vertical scroll inconvenience in app, app drawer alignment. So if I go to my app drawer, Okay, if I scroll up and down in my vertical app drawer, they have improved the scroll bar on the right, okay? It doesn't eat into the applications. It is more stable, all right? So let's see. Very nice. Glad they brought this back, by the way. So that's great, all right? All the apps are on the side. They're not eating into the actual scroll bar or the scroll bar is not eating into the applications. Let's go back over here. We have some changes to the game booster. So game booster, change screen playback default setting, change FPS setting name and max value, default scanning rate 120 hertz. So if I go to my game tools right here, gaming hub, and if I go into my game booster, 
okay there's some changes right here i don't use the game booster too much because i don't play games on my phones that much but they have made some changes that people were requesting we have improved quick panel closing operation so bring down the quick panel close it you know what there is an improvement right there let me just clear this out all right let's bring that down yes it closes much better much smoother much quicker uh, let's go back here modify that the now bar is not displayed on a specific path that's fixed i don't know exactly what that is but we do have fixed lock screen aod status bar battery icon which we were talking about now again look at this here's the battery bar tap it's still there okay tap it is still there wow it actually changed so that's good. Now it's this way, okay? So it still have some problems. So you notice that it is now coming here, double tap, it's going back. It is happening smoother, but what should happen is this. So I have it here, and even when I wake it up, it should remain there, okay? But if you do it a couple times, it still messes it up. So that's not good, but that's something you're gonna fix in the next update most likely. They did fix some errors related to the lock screen editing. Fix the lock screen shortcut icon from disappearing. They're talking about these icons. They were disappearing for some reason. It's not happening anymore. Wasn't happening to me. The tools are back on the edge panel. I'll show that to you guys. And many other under the hood improvements that just make the beta more stable and more snappy. All right, so that's about it for the One UI beta number three. Don't forget to click the link down below to reserve the S25 Ultra and also get entered to win $5,000 Samsung credits. That's an insane giveaway. Make sure to enter your name and your email. Click submit. You're good to go. All right, guys, if you have any questions, all right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day.